Welcome to the After Action Report. My name is Eric. I'm a personal injury lawyer in South Florida, and my passion is helping my injured clients get great results and sharing those experiences with attorneys like you to help you get great results too. Today, we're going to be talking about how to use virtual backgrounds in Zoom and why they're important. Before we get into that topic today, if this is your first time with us and you're interested in learning about unconventional litigation and trial tips and strategies and other cool stuff, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon so you can receive notifications each time we upload a new video, which we do each week. So today's topic is how to use virtual backgrounds in Zoom and why they're important. A couple weeks ago, I did a virtual mock jury trial in conjunction with the NYU Law Civil Jury Project, and I thought the virtual backgrounds were awesome. And so I recommend that you use a virtual background for your next Zoom hearing, mediation, deposition, or trial. And today I'm gonna show you how to use the virtual background and also a couple ideas for you to think about for your next Zoom meeting. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up a new meeting in Zoom. Once your meeting's open, go to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and find the little camera icon. Click on the little arrow on the right side of that icon, then click on the option that says choose virtual background. Now you're gonna be able to pick the virtual background that you wanna use for your hearing. If you haven't uploaded a virtual background yet, click on the little plus sign and that'll bring you to a folder that's on your computer where you save the virtual background that you're going to use. You can upload several different backgrounds that you want to use for your next hearing for whatever purpose that you're going to need. So for instance, you can use a background that looks like an office or create a virtual background that has your firm name and logo. I found it extremely helpful to have a virtual background when I was conducting a mock trial over Zoom because I could quickly identify who I was speaking to and who was speaking when I was in trial. There are so many different backgrounds you can use and it really makes you look professional. Just try not to use anything weird. So you may have questions about where you get the virtual backgrounds that you can use. And the great thing is that you can use any photograph that you take with your phone or camera. You can also use a program like Canva, which gives you the ability to use stock photographs and also add text to those photographs. So there you have it. That's how you set the virtual background and a couple ideas for you to use for your next meeting. As you can see, the virtual background eliminates any clutter that you have in the background of your room and it'll let the other people on the Zoom meeting know exactly who you are and you know who they are. So that's all we have today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got some value from it, go ahead and click on that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can receive notifications when we upload new videos, which we upload each week. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you at the next After Action Report.